Juliet Gordon Lowe. Something new for girls. Juliet Gordon Lowe started the Girl Scouts. Today, there are over 3 million Girl Scouts around the world. But it all started with just 18 girls in Savannah, Georgia. In Juliet's day, girls learned to raise a family and keep a house. But Juliet had new ideas. Girls should learn about sports and nature too. Juliet's ideas shocked some people. She didn't care. She knew that girls could do all the things boys could do. Juliet Gordon Lowe started the Girl Scouts. A Little Daisy. Juliet Gordon Lowe was born in Savannah, Georgia. Her family had her family liked nicknames. Juliet's uncle called her a Daisy. The name stuck. Juliet was called Daisy from then on. The Civil War started when Daisy was still a baby. The South and the North fought each other in the war. Daisy's father fought for the South. She only saw her father on a few a few times during the war. Daisy's father fought for the South in the Civil War. Families North and South. Daisy's mother was from Chicago, Illinois. It was a big city in the North. Her family was one of the first families to settle there. Daisy had uncles who fought for the North during the Civil War, but the South was losing the war. Daisy's family had to leave Savannah. Her mother took Daisy and her brothers and sisters to Chicago. They lived there with her grandparents. Daisy was glad to be back in Savannah after the war was over. Daisy's family had to leave Savannah during the Civil War. Notice that they have a timeline at the bottom. So they're talking about when she was born until when she's having to leave for Chicago. So let's see what else they're going to add to the timeline. A happy childhood. Daisy loved to be outside. She took care of stray dogs and cats. She played in her grandmother's garden. In the summer, Daisy's family visited her aunt near Cartersville, Georgia. Daisy and her sisters and brothers ran and played with their cousins. They swam in the river. They hid in the woods. They built campfires. They wrote plays and acted in them. Everyone said Daisy was the best actress in the family. Daisy and her brothers liked playing outside like these children. A proper young lady. Daisy went away to school when she was 14. It was time to become a proper young lady. But there was a problem. Daisy missed playing outside. She missed her family. She couldn't spell very well. She got in trouble drawing during class. Daisy wrote a letter to her mother. She said, I can't keep all the rules. I'm too much like you, Daisy mother. Daisy's mother liked doing things on her own way. Daisy did too. Daisy went away to school to become a proper young lady. Life in England. Finally, Daisy finished school. She visited England. She saw an old friend, William Lowe. They fell in love. They got married in Savannah. William and Daisy had homes in England and Scotland. Daisy worried about making friends in a new place, but Daisy told funny stories. She was a good tennis player and a swimmer. She liked to ride horses and hunt. She loved to have fun. William's friends liked her very much. So this is a picture with, and the caption says, Daisy and William got married in Savannah. Almost deaf. Daisy had terrible ear infections. An infection is, an, is a sickness. Daisy could not hear very well. One day, a doctor tried a new medicine. It made her ear even worse. At her wedding, guests threw rice for good luck. A piece of rice got stuck in Daisy's ear. A doctor took the rice out, but he hurt the eardrum in her ear. Now Daisy could not hear at all in that ear. She never let that let being almost deaf stop her. Teaching girls. Daisy's husband died. She wondered what to do next. Her friend had started the Boy Scouts in England. 
Girls wanted to join too, so she started the Girl Guides. Daisy wanted to help. She started Girl Guides groups in Scotland and England. The girls did things that the Boy Scouts did, like go hiking and camping. Daisy wanted the girls to feel strong too. She said they could do anything boys could do. Daisy and the girls could do anything boys could do. The Best Girl Scout Daisy brought the Girl Guides to America. The next year, she changed the name to Girl Scouts. Daisy raised money to help Girl Scouts. She gave her own money, too. Once, she even sold her pearls to raise money. Daisy welcomed all girls to Girl Scouts. She did not have children of her own, but she loved her girls, and they loved her. When Daisy died, her friends called her the best Girl Scout of them all. The end.